Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Impossible. I'm here. Today, we're checking out a game called Feud, which is a turn-based strategy game. And that's about all I really know about it. So let's uh, let's click in here to figure things out. Let's uh, let's try going through the tutorial. In fact, let me see here real quick. Oh, we can turn the volume down. Thank God, that was so ungodly loud. I'll probably edit that down so you guys don't have to uh, hear that so loud. But for me, oh my God. Anyway, let's uh, do the tutorial real quick. We'll uh, figure out what we're doing. Uh, hello, friend. My name is Shrew. I hear you've come to learn the art of feuding. You can tap or use the arrow keys to move through the lesson. Let's begin. Uh, feud is a two-player game of wit and cunning. Each player has eight pieces. Let me introduce you. This is your king. You can attack one adjacent piece per turn. The king starts with four health. The dots. Okay, the little dots are out there. And if your king is killed, you lose. So guard it well. Uh, this is your wizard. It can swap any friendly piece on the board using its teleport spell. Okay. He's a wizardly dude. Uh, this is your shield. It doesn't do anything special, but can be moved by the other player. It also can't be shot over by enemy archers. So it just can't be moved by an enemy player? Okay. Alright, so it's just like a moving wall of some sort. Uh, speaking of archers, you get two of them. They can shoot any piece in a straight line, horizontally or vertically. Okay. So, uh, you know, you can shoot people long distance. Sounds good to me. Uh, your medic can heal up to four friendly pieces next to it for one health each turn. Pretty handy. Finally, we have knights. Each knight can attack two pieces next to them. All attacks in feud do one damage. So the knight can uh, do two attacks in a turn, which means they can do two damage. Sounds good. I'm guessing they can only attack right next to him. All right, let's look at how the game actually plays. In Feud, Black moves first. Then the players take turns until the game ends. All right, so uh, normally in chess, White goes first. So they just wanted to switch things around to be special, I think. Uh, the game starts with setup phase. That's when two players take it in turns to choose their starting layouts. There are four starting lay layouts to choose from. You decide where you want your king to go. Why don't you choose the layout you want? You can choose the one highlighted in spaces. When you're happy, press the button. Um, so as I move this around, my pieces move. You can only have four different layouts, apparently. Um, I really, I don't even know what I would do here. Okay, we'll, we'll do this, I guess, maybe? Sure. Well done. After your setup is finished, your turn consists of one switch and one action. Before we go into that, though... We need to talk about isolation. We're going to get isolated. An isolated piece is one that has no piece of the same color next to it. By next to it, I mean horizontally or vertically. Diagonally doesn't count. An isolated piece can't be used. Here the knight is isolated. It's not touching any other white pieces. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Now that's an arrow guy. Uh, that's a medic, king... He's a knight guy. Okay, he's isolated because there's no other white pieces nearby. This guy doesn't count. Fair enough. Here, the knight is still isolated. An empty space creates isolation. An empty space happens when a piece is killed and removed from the game. All right, since there's nobody there that's white, he's still isolated. Fair enough. Isolation is important because if all your pieces become isolated, you lose. If both players become fully isolated at the same time, it's a draw. So to win, either kill your opponent's king or isolate all their pieces. Interesting. Okay, back to taking turns. In a turn, each player makes one switch, and then one action. You have to make a switch, but you're allowed to skip actions. But beware, if you skip three actions in a row, you lose. Wow. Okay, it's your turn. Why don't you make a switch, and then you can swap your king and your medic. Tap a piece, and then tap a piece to swap it with. Okay, so we tap here, and then we tap there, and we swap them. Uh, nicely done. Once you've used your switch, it's time to take an action. Let's finish them off by attacking their shield. Tap on your king and then tap on their shield to attack it. So I'm going to hit this here and then hit that there. There, take that shield. You are now less shieldly. You've won. You didn't kill their king, but all the pieces are isolated. While you still have two adjacent pieces. The game is over. Hurrah! Yeah, so these pieces up here don't have anything next to them. That one doesn't, that one doesn't. So they're all isolated. And we, we could have just killed the king by hitting him with our knight anyway. But whatevs. Uh, that's pr pretty much everything you need to know about the Art of Feuding. You're welcome to come back here anytime. For now, you can go back through the lesson to review. Or hit the next button to go to the main menu. Goodbye. Alright, well let's, let's see if we can do a game. Uh, we probably want to... 
I'd probably leave it on easy for now because I don't really know what I'm doing. They oh they, they have different guys do different things. Very cool. I'll, I'll do the aggressive guy for now because why not? Uh, maybe he'll kill himself just hitting me or something. All right, so I get to choose my layout. How do I want my king? I like you know, we'll just mirror his stuff. He knows what he's doing, right? So I'll mirror his stuff, and there's nothing he can do about it. All right, so he goes first. He switched his knight and his uh, th oh, his uh, arrow guy and his medic. Uh, let me see here. Where's my medic? Oh, my medic got hit right here. Okay. Uh, what if I, what if I do that to you? Yeah. Actually, I don't like that at all. Can I undo that? Hey, can I hit Control Z? I don't want to do that. What is this undo? Oh, God. I, I, I skipped my turn. I didn't mean to do that at all. I did not mean to do that at all. Oh, God, that sucked. I meant to undo. I thought there was an undo button. Now my medic's going to die, and there's nothing I could do about it. Um, Where can I put him? What if I switch? All right, what if I move this guy over here, and then I heal? Heal, heal the thingies. Your action. Do the healy thing. Um, you first switch your archer, and perhaps your archer might come in handy. I was just... I want you to heal. He has a healy thing. Can he not heal himself? Can, maybe he can't heal himself. Well, you know, why don't you shoot that guy? Can, can, I, can I click somebody else? Yeah, you shoot him. Yeah, take that. My archer's probably going to die right now. Be, uh, I mean, my uh, guy right here, because I'm a derp. Uh, now my wizard is isolated, and I lost a piece for no reason at all. I'm not happy that I did that at all. Maybe I should have moved my uh, my shield to help that guy out. Uh, let me see here. We have uh, a knight here that can do knightly things, maybe. Uh, what if I just shoot somebody? What if I... I don't know what I want to do here. What if I move you? Can I move you? Can I? Do I have to escape to unclick that guy? I mean, right click? What if I, I don't want you clicked? There we go. I guess I have to click him to unclick him. Can you move here? Do I have... Why can't you move there? Go here. I guess he can only move where uh, people are? Okay, so what if I use... Right, I have to click him to get him off. It's kind of annoying. And if I use you to move you here? I don't want to switch. I want to use my action. This is uh, This is getting frustrating. All right, what if I... I don't know. What do I want to do here? I just wanted to shoot people. I mean, that's really all I wanted to do, and they're making it more complicated than it needed to be. You know what? Why don't you just shoot that guy? Just shoot him. Can you... Can, oh, I have to switch. I absolutely have to switch. Apparently. All right, unclick this guy. What are, I mean, the only thing I could do is make this guy switch here. I can make this guy switch. I'm not really seeing the big point of doing these things. I kind of just want to... Hit people. What you... Oh, I could switch with this guy? He'd be isolated. But that wouldn't really do me any good. Huh. Can I isolate, like, their night guy, maybe? Oh, no, he just beat up my guy right here. I'm glad this isn't timed. I've wasted so much, I've wasted so much time just, like, doing nothing so far. Um... What if I... Alright, let me just switch you. There, you're switched. Now, let me go ahead and hit somebody. I'll hit that guy. Yeah, get beat on. And now he switched and hit my shield. And uh, that's just what happens sometimes. Uh, apparently, I have to switch. I, I don't like this you have to switch thing. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, what if I switch these and then I hit him with that? And can I hit him again? Because knights get two attacks. It said knights get two attacks, does it not? Can, can I not attack the same thing? What if I click this guy? Let me unclick you. No? I, ca I can't do anything? He, he, he literally can't do anything and I can't click off. And I can't attack twice, so I think I wanted to be up one if I wanted that to work. So let's go ahead and end it right there, I guess. Alright, now this guy's going to hit my peeps. Yeah, I don't like that at all. That wasn't very nice of you. All right, now it's my turn. I can switch. What if I switched you? Yeah, that happened. 
I'm not sure. I'm still not sure if that's good or not. But we did it. And this guy should have two attacks. So I'm going to hit him once. Can I hit him again? I can hit this guy. Yeah, we're doing two attacks at the very least. And then I'll, I'll switch my guy over here. Oh, he's going to hit my king again. Okay, well, I'm going to kill this guy momentarily. And he at least made it so this guy wasn't isolated. So I'm happy about that. Um, I want to hit this guy at least once. I also have to do a switch. I think I'll, I'll try to attack him with this guy. Who can I who can I move around to make things work for me? Hmm. I think what I'll try to do. I think I'll switch my archer and my king so that he doesn't take any more damage. And I'll just uh, use this guy to attack this to kill his knight. And then I'll also smack his uh, wizard guy. There we go. So we got two attacks in. I'm like using the knights. They do good things. And so now at least this guy is protected for another hit from uh, that archer, which is plinking away at us. All right. We're doing okay. Now, if I want to switch somebody else, what do I want to do? I want to... Hmm. I'm not quite sure how we want to handle... I definitely want to... I want... It would be nice if I could heal my king, but I can't anymore. At the very least, uh, this thing will buy me another turn. Can I... I'm not really sure where I don't want to even move people right now. I kind of just want to attack people. I Like, I don't want to switch so much, to be honest. Because um, I, I kind of just want to... I probably do two attacks with this guy this turn. That would be my ideal turn. I guess I'll just switch these. Because I can. I guess. And then I'll uh, do two attacks with this guy, get that archer for one, and get this wall for one. And he's not going to... The only damage he can take is from that guy. Oh, he's isolated now. Uh-oh. Things have happened. Bad things have happened. I have to kill that guy or isolate him or do something. Uh, can I use my wizard to do wizardly things? Can that happen? We have to do something to protect the, uh, the king for now at any rate. Uh, let me go... We go like this. I'm gonna. Can I unclick you, please? I didn't mean to have you clicked. We're gonna switch these two guys around, if nothing else. I'm gonna use the wizard to move you. Oh God. Uh, I guess that works. It's not what I was wanting to do at all, but okay. That happened. I think I'm gonna lose horribly. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose horribly. Wow. Okay. That happened. I wasn't really sure how the wizard thing worked, but now we know. And I can't protect my king at all, and I can't heal him. I think unless I can one-shot this guy, which I can't, um, my king's just going to die. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm pretty sure that's how this is going to play out. Um, yeah, I'm not really... I'm, so I keep like, is there anything I can do? I don't... He's not safe behind this wall. And even if he was, this guy could switch with that wall. I think my guy's just going to die. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, just, just... Oh, I can't even, like, throw my guy upwards to, uh, charge to his death. That kind of sucks. Um, I guess I can switch for, for funsies. And then I can, uh... I mean, I can just attack this guy once. But he'll still be able to switch and just kill me. Yeah, we're dead this turn right there. Archers are no fun. I definitely wanted to keep my uh, my guy alive. That was that was bad on my part. Can we do that again? I feel like I'm I'm too bad at this game. <laughs> All right, where do we want to go here? This does not seem like a bad uh, start. Is there somewhere? Okay, having the uh, the medic right next to my king, I think, is a good thing. If I could do that. And it's actually a, a mirror of what they have going, which isn't bad. And uh, if I can keep this, if I can make this guy heal himself somehow, then I'm set. So let's just go with this. They're going to go first. They're probably going to plink me. Plink my medic guy. That's okay. Can I, can I make any of their guys come over here? Like, can I have you come over here? I can't. Okay, I, I have to do a switch. I have to, have to. Um...
What if I just do this for right now? Have my medic do his healy thing? Medic, do your healy thing. Medic. How does the medic work? Do the heal. Clicking, he can't, I, get, I don't think he can heal people other than himself. I'm not, it's like, it doesn't seem to be plausible. So I'm going to keep the wall in front of him and then I can heal the king if I need to. Uh, so now we just need to attack stuff. And uh, we don't have a good attack thing right now. We can't do double attacks anywhere that I can see. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just plink their medic. See how they like it. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now they're going to plink my king from both sides here. All right, now it's my switch. Who do I want to switch? I want to keep this one right where it is. And I'll just... I can... If I spend my attack every time healing the king, that's not going to help me very much, is it? Um, and I definitely don't want to move this guy right now. Because I don't want to move any of the back line right now. Because switching them will uh, do bad things for me. If I have to do a switch, I think I'll just do this. And uh, my action, heal the king. Yeah, I thought it might do an AoE heal or something, but apparently not. I still get another action, so heal yourself. I think he gets to heal twice. Uh, but he's he can yeah he can heal twice, but not himself. Everyone but himself. So it's good to know I can keep somebody else near him. You know, get somebody else near him to get damage, but there's nothing else I can do with him. Yeah, because I can't click on anything else. And I can't even click them off, so all I can do is end this turn. Well, it's, you know, we're learning at least. It's something. We just need somebody else to be taking damage other than this guy right here. Uh, the king taking damage is fine. It's just, I need, it would be nice if two people taking damage. Otherwise, having this guy heal is uh, not really worthwhile. I have to do another switch. They're forcing it on me here. So let's, uh, I kind of want to force this guy up here somehow so I can start getting double turns. Uh, but then I open myself up to double turns if I switch with him, so it's a little dangerous. Uh, it's kind of a lot dangerous, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it to do it. I open him up to go right to my king, which seems like a horrible idea. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do the old switcheroo here. Like that. And then I'll use this guy to uh, plink somebody. Actually, I'll plink, I'll plink their plink their healer again. There we go. Right, this turn, I'll just use two heals from the medic. And I'll, uh, I'll just switch these two around again. It doesn't really matter. And then I'll do medic heal. And heal again. Medic heal again. The medic can't heal twice in a row? Does it have to be two different people? Like, it definitely seems like he can heal two things, but it's not working. I also don't... I, I don't like how the clicking off doesn't work. And I can't... Literally can't do anything. If you literally can't do anything, they should just, let, like, end the turn. As opposed to making you think you can actually do something. Because that's frustrating. And I thought I would get two heals on the king, otherwise I'd have done things differently. But yeah, I can't just put a heal on the king every single turn. That's not, not efficient at all. Uh, let me see here. We have to do another switch. Uh, let's go ahead and switch this guy in the king. Because this guy is a piece of crap. And uh, using the medic seems like a losing strategy to me at least. And uh, we have another turn. Let's uh, let's kill their guy. We'll be up one piece at least. One piece they don't really seem to much care about. And they're going to plank my guy. But he can't heal himself which is frustrating. And I don't have two of them. So I can't force them to heal each other. So it doesn't really work out for me. Uh, so before he dies, maybe I'll throw another heal on the king, but I'm not really sure. Doesn't feel that worth it to me. I think I'd like to shove this guy up here. Can you can you move there? Why can't you move? Oh, you know what? The uh, walls can't be moved. I forgot that. Uh, walls cannot be moved by the other player, so that's a protective barrier he has there. All right. Who do I want to switch, and how do I want to do it? I don't really... I mean, I could just keep switching these guys back and forth, I guess, at something. And uh, I kind of want to start plinking at things up here if I can. 
I, I, wait, wait, I said I was going to heal the king. Let's heal the king real quick. Because this guy's going to die next turn anyway. And th this guy's behind a wall, so he'll be okay. And I literally can't heal anything else with this guy because he's completely useless, so I'll just end my turn. And uh, he'll die this turn probably from this guy. Yeah, that's exactly what I anticipated was going to happen, so that's fine. Alright, who do we want to start plinking now? Because they're up by hits. They have one hit on my guy where I don't have any hits on them. And I can't heal that anymore. So I definitely want to take the uh, initiative with t attacking if I can. I wish I could move this guy here. And uh, just keep the wizard here too. That way he wasn't isolated. Uh, let me see. I, I just want to get to the king as soon as possible, if at all possible. I, ha I have to do a switch before I can do anything. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just switch these two things again because it really makes no difference at all. And then I'll, I can either hit the wall. Can this guy hit things? No, he can't. Okay. So I'll just plink the wall, I guess. I'd like to hit the king, but I can't. At least I can't heal the wall. Their shield is down two hits. Meanwhile, mine isn't down at all. So we are actually more even now. Uh, my switch... Now, it's my choice. If, if I want to hit that wall again, I have to switch something other than these two, because that's just what I've been doing lately. And I can't really switch anything else. I could switch the wizard with the uh, the archer and still get hits on something. I'd really like to switch up, if at all possible. You know what? Let's do this. The wizard is mostly useless to me. And uh, I'm going to use this guy to get double attacks. So I'm going to hit the wall. And I'm going to hit this guy. And he's isolated, so he can't do anything right now. And he's going to stay isolated. So we're going to kill uh, that and get another hit on this next turn. And then we're going to move forward towards the king. So we're getting closer. Uh, we have to do a switch. Have to, have to, apparently. And uh, who's the best one to switch with? I don't know. I don't really want to switch with anything. I guess I'll switch these two. Sure, why not? And I'll use this guy to attack the wall. And attack this. There we go. He's still isolated. He still can't do anything. It's Black's turn. Alright, now I'll probably... I kind of want to kill this guy and move him out the way at the same time. That's not really going to work that way. I can just kill him and move him. I think I'll switch and then kill this guy with the knight. I then start moving up this way with my other guys. So let's start doing that. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do a switch like here. And then I'll just kill this guy real quick. There we go. And then I'll move my uh, knight up there. My knight can't attack anything else, so we have to end turn. He switcherooed. We saw that coming. It's bound to happen. They killed my wall, finally. So I have to start getting hits on them, like, ASAP, or I'm going to be in deep trouble. And I'm not sure the best way to go about that, because I don't have a wall anymore. The wall just died, now I have a medic to heal it. I don't have any of those things. I need to put two hits a turn on their king, <laughs> if at all possible, which isn't possible. Because a knight can't attack the same thing twice, so that doesn't really work out. Uh, the only other thing I could do is kill their archers so that they can't keep plinking me like this. Um, I'm going to take one turn, one hit this turn regardless from this, I think. So let me go ahead and... I kind of want to move here. Can I move that guy there? Hold on. Action, let me click you off. Can I move you? No, no, no! That's not what I wanted at all! I would No! Well, that just, like, any chance I had of not losing is finally, is totally gone now. Because uh, we can't do anything to do enough damage to offset the damage coming on our king right now. I, I literally can't do anything about it. And I just, I just did one of the dumbest things possible. Um, you know what? Let's suicide. Uh, I have to do a switch first. Okay, let's, let's, you know what? You two can switch. Get off you. You can switch over here. You can do this. They two switch sides, so that way they can kill me in one turn. There we go. That's that's how I want to do it. Let's just get it over and done with. This is frustrating. This is super frustrating. Okay, you guys, you guys do nothing because that's what you do. You're totally useless. 
And uh, let me just hit somebody with my king to feel a little better. There we go, Black's turn. Black's gonna kill me right now. Black's gonna kill me with their king. They took it personally. There we go. <laughs> That's it. That's the end. We got totally destroyed. Why am I so bad at this game? Oh my god. I have I have to figure out strategies of some sort, because I, I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this game. This game is called Feud. I'm sure it's a lot more better and interesting when people actually know how to play it. And this is a cross-platform game, so you can play it on Android or Mac or on Steam or... I don't know if it's on Steam. It's definitely on itch.io. And you guys can all cross-play against each other, so it's kind of cool that they have it open like that. If you guys are interested, I will have a link down in the description down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, this is what I do. I play indie games every day on the internet for your enjoyment. So you saw this and you thought it was kind of cool. Uh, once you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon so you know where to put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.